All right. Let's do a recap on this. Finish the league three and two. One game and one match over 500. So that's pretty cool. I played blue. I played against blue every round, which is a little bit annoying, but eh, what you going to do? It's popper. That's the way it works. I mostly fixed my land base. I might actually go buy another basic mountain from Kaladesh to get my 15th one. I really like this artwork and I actually use it in a few of my paper decks. Let's talk about the deck itself and not just about the um, basic land package. <laughs> Curse of the Fierce Heart. I was underwhelmed with the card. I know I, pr I brought it up may too many times during the games, but it just doesn't feel fast enough in this current format. It doesn't feel like it's getting enough oomph. Also, main deck card that I'm probably going to revisit is the fourth Fire Blast. Fourth Fire Blast is... Um, once you draw the second one, you really don't know what to do with it. The, the second one's kind of a dead card because you can't sack the lands and be able to hold up much of anything. I mean, this might even be better served as a gut shot. And maybe a gut shot main wouldn't be the worst thing in the world versus uh, inside out combo versus spell stutter sprites, stuff like that. It, it could go a little bit a long way. So I'm probably going to throw two curses into the sideboard and a fire blast. I'm just going to chuck. And we're gonna that's gonna free up at least three slots in the main deck. Land package, I, I felt like I had enough lands when I needed to. Needle drops are probably one of the more most important spells of the deck, even though they're only doing one point of damage. So I'll see what I can do, find out, figure out what, what I'm going for three cards there. Putting two curse of the pure heart pierced heart in the sideboard will help. Be able to have more cards to side in versus like blue black control matchups. In retrospect, thinking about the match, if I would have sided out the archers and the thermal alchemists and had more spells to bring in, I probably could have got a lot better. I would have had a lot better matchup just going, you know, uh, creatureless or as creatureless as possible so those removal spells get made dead. Three power blast seems pretty reasonable. I even consider going up a fourth one Two flaring pain it would have the flaring pains definitely would have helped in the circle protection matchup but eh. where where the big problem is here is the smash the smithereens no about nobody's playing affinity right now i don't think i need four anyways especially now that pillage is in the format i'm probably going to trim a couple of them to welcome the curses into the sideboard the Molten Rain's going to go away, and I'm going to go up another Pillage, at least. It's probably going to be two or three Pillages. An extra Electricery and or an extra Martyr, depending on the meta, might be good in the sideboard as well. But all in all, just minor changes of where I think I should go with the deck. I mean, I'm not the best player. <laughs> Watching over those games again, I'm not the best player, but I am going to change up this deck a little bit. I'm going to change up my paper version too because definitely the fourth fire blast is a little excessive. And this is the exact 75 I have in my paper deck that I just finished building. So being able to run it through a league, kind of put the testers on it to see where I don't want to be is mostly why I decided to run this deck this week. If you have any deck suggestions that you might think I might like playing, uh, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching the video. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing. You can follow me on Twitter at GeekLukeG. This is Couch Troll Brewing.